I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share with you my three secrets. Ooh, <gasps> that sounds... Ooh, okay. Wait, hold secrets. on for what? <laughs> we, we need to have a conversation about this. For making decisions. <laughs> ah, okay. okay. Nothing, nothing that deep. Okay. okay. First of all, the first thing I like to do is to weigh the cost. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what do I mean by that? Okay, I, I look at this as, you know, is it a money maker mm -hmm. or a money taker? Okay, can I eventually, will this make me money? Mm -hmm. You know, it's not rocket science. We, you know, we really, it's the really simple things to do. And, and you can be a, you know, a multi-truck, multi-million dollar plumbing business. All right. Literally within a couple years. Right. The quickest ways to look at um, an example is buying a truck. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, buying new versus, you know, old. Right. Okay. Old, used. Right. Right. So, you know, we can look at a truck and say, well, obviously if we buy, you know, it's, it's a liability. Mm -hmm. We know it's, you know, but in this case, does that buying that new truck, does that make you money mm -hmm. or does it take you money? Correct. All right. Mm -hmm. It makes you money. Mm -hmm. Okay. Buying that new truck, it makes you money. You get that truck in Mrs. Jones's driveway, mm -hmm. it's going to make you money. Because then more than likely it's not on the side of the road broken down. Also from a value standpoint, are you pulling right. up to Mrs. Jones's driveway That's in an old beater that looks, you know, is leaking oil in the driveway Right? right, versus something that's nice and new, and she's not embarrassed to have it in her driveway, um, and that just increases your value to Mrs. Jones. Right if you, on. Again, if you show up with an old crappy truck, you've just reduced your value. You now are the typical crack plumber that the Mrs. Jones doesn't have any value for at all. So, all right. yeah. Next, you're gonna measure the risk. Okay, I would I would measure the risk. Okay, okay. I, I literally just ask, you know, what can happen? Mm. What's the worst thing can happen? If I buy this truck, mm -hmm. what's the worst thing that can happen? Mm -hmm. are, is, is my wife and kids, are they going to die? I mean, that's the, that's the worst in my world. That's the worst thing that could happen. Mm -hmm. And then finally, I would, I would take a look at it and say, well, well how many jobs does it take to pay, mm -hmm. pay for this truck? So as I'm, you know, measuring the risk, well, well how many jobs do I have to do to make this truck payment? Mm -hmm. Okay. So my truck payment, you know, is 800 bucks. You know, how many jobs do I have to do in hopefully, a month? Hopefully just one. You want to just, you know, it's a very simple thing to measure the risk. And it's not, it's not a complicated thing. We, we overcomplicate these things. And these decisions, that, that's part of the problem. You know, we get stuck and we start overcomplicating things. Mm -hmm. We make it complex. Right. I mean, the, the, the whole process. When really it's very simple. You know, what's, what's it going to cost me? Mm -hmm. All right. Well, what's the worst thing that can happen? And, and how many jobs, jobs that I have to do? Right. All right. To pay for this thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. It is that simple. And that helps take the, what we do is it, it takes that, that pressure off. Okay, and that fear, mm -hmm. you, know, you know, it's not, not so scary. Right. It's very and also, important. And also, I just, I, guys, again, it's, it, stop treating it like a job. If you started a plumbing business, it's no longer a job, it's a business. So you need to start treating it like a business um, in making these types of decisions as well. So Right on, right business. on, right on. It's a there we go. Finally. Yes. We're talking about. Now. Okay, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Pull the trigger. All right, make the decision. Make the decision. Look. You know, your success does not just depend on any single decision. Your success depends on the amount of decisions that you make, which is movement. Right. Okay. Movement Bottom line, is life. movement is life. Mm -hmm. All right. Make the decision. And, you know, if it didn't quite work out or it's not the right decision, then, then you make another decision, you know, and, and correct move it. The, right. Mm -hmm. in a correct it in a correct direction. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sometimes it, you're, you don't know what the right answer is, right? You're not sure. And it could be that a decision is kind of, um, you've got two choices and maybe they're somewhat equal, right? Um, but pick one, pick one, regardless of what it is, just pick one. Right. <laughs> and it is, and it is that simple. You, you, you do these things and just, just making these decisions, your plumbing business will grow. Yes. The plumbing businesses that aren't growing, aren't making decisions. Right.